Welcome back guys to Tales of Exilia 2 where on Musei's story, a second one of this kind of stint in the story chapter things, we head into the Felgalna mine. I don't see the mine. monsters we're looking for anywhere. Perhaps they're deeper inside. Well, they're definitely monsters, but it's the threat we could not find on the map at all. We've actually been back out again and done various jobs again, more kill quests completed. So we actually yeah. completed the area as well with a chirpy head. The Forte Research Center, these cats are doing good jobs. Should we send to Lurande? Yes. Seeing we've got nothing there at all. Go on, cats, bring us all the things. Well, let's get through this as fast as possible, because if anything, it seems like we're going to get triggered when things are going on. Oh, let's mine that rock as well. It does tend to give us nice monetarily generating items. Not that we're all that poor at the moment. The jobs we've done and all that over the story chapters and we've done all that over the last few episodes have actually gotten us, well, over half a million gold. This is my way. And yes, we've got Gaius in disguise. Completely flashy, open, and everyone disguise? can see him. Isn't he back in his old king costume, just Shh. in an alternate colour? No, it's lies. Oh, okay. But all that I like, oh, it was great. You're giving it away. What? <laughs> Can't talk about it. Okay, then. It's the worst disguise of all time, that's for sure, but still. Alright, we'll pick up all this stuff that we can. I want to get past you, Bat, but you're going to back attack me. We just want to know which area we're supposed to go to. Uh, right, it's light that was good. Oh, let's bring that open instead of actually changing my weapon. Hit you with my mallet, and you'll go down quite nicely. Though a bit of slowdown occurring there, Bex. Yeah, you say it like I did it. Yes, I yes it was all you. I think it was because we were spread out, actually. I did super lag attack. Yes, you do that a lot. Gah. The right. camera does have a challenging time when there's two people. Quite often if you're the secondary player as well, um, you can be pointing in one direction and when the character shifts, you'll start running in the other direction. It's really quite annoying. All right, let's claim all that. We got loads of eye light ore a second ago, which I think actually translates to a fair bit of cash. Is everything okay? Hmm? Hello? Oh, my apologies. I couldn't help but stare. I've never met a spirit before. You're so... so beautiful. Enough chatter. Monsters won't wait for you to finish your conversation. I got scolded again. You're from Rizamaxia. Why are you working with Spirius Corporation? I wanted to try cooperating with people from Olympias. You don't mind the Olympians? They seem to be pushing you pretty hard. They're doing it for my own good. I'm not living up to my full potential. You're so adorable! Don't let anyone try to hold you back! Are you stupid? <laughs> Lisa! Y yes ma'am? Now I remember why I hate Riza Maxians. I wonder if those two will ever get along. I love the way she thinks one thing and then she says the other thing. You're just stupid. Mm. But we've got ourselves another skit about Musaid's spirit voice. Let's view it indeed. A binational military force. What an interesting idea. Indeed. It is an obvious idea, but actually putting it into operation reveals numerous obstacles. It's a testament to the Spirius Corporation that they were able to iron out those obstacles so quickly. Yes, it certainly is. Gaius has such long eyelashes. They're like the eyelashes of a horse! <coughs> hmm? If this sort of experiment becomes commonplace, it would give me more hope that humans and spirits will be able to coexist peacefully in the future. Yes, indeed. In that sense, I have high hopes for you. What do you think, Luger? I agree. We'll have to give it some thought. Oh. Why can't we say we think his eyelashes look <laughs> like a horse? I was expecting that <laughs> option, actually. We just have to say, I agree. I and guess we do. I agree, Musée. I agree. <laughs> so we're all agreed, then. That makes me think. How come it's considered a compliment to comment on the length of someone's eyelashes? And yet, you're not supposed to mention their nose here at all. <coughs> Luger? Gaius, is something wrong? No. Hmm? 
beard hair is fine too, just like eyelashes. Only nose hair is forbidden. It makes no sense. I just don't get human aesthetics at all. She I... sounds like a touch coma from um, Ghost in the Shell yeah, when she, does she goes a bit, into yeah. that voice. But I just love the thing is she's saying like deep provocative things, thought provoking. And then in the meantime, that's what's actually going through her head. I think that's what they're trying to do with the comedy, but still, it's quite crazy. Let's get ourselves even more ore and meadow crystals and whatnot. Meadow crystals aren't bad for us to pick up, that's for sure. Where are we heading now? I guess where we fought Hammer Zam on. Was it Moral Zam? Was it Hammer or Moral Zam? I have no idea. One of the Zam twins. That makes them sound oh, like some kind of gangsters. Green blobs on the map. Green blobs on the map. Those are, I think, people we often find in random caves. Oh, they're the ones that only give us stuff when we win at the Colosseum, which yes. we're not allowed to do yet, which is annoying. Only sell it to someone strong enough to completely dominate at the Colosseum, yeah. despite the fact that we haven't had a prompt in a long time to tell us to go into the Colosseum. Post game. Probably. Or maybe after chapters, you never know. Let's just get down to where we need to be and think about horsehair eyelashes. Hmm, lovely. Not allowed to comment on the nose hair. Hmm, your nose hair is fine, like a horse. I don't know. Let's get through here because this is the right direction, isn't it? Back up, back up. Confirm. Looks like we're getting close. Right <laughs> Let's hurry up and butcher those things and then we can head home. How is that a back attack? That's like wrist attack. Oh, Either way, we'll get to work and we'll dispatch these as fast as possible. You're being backed up against the wall there, are you? No, I switched characters, I've just realised. Oh, we because of the random skit. Cutscene, yes. yes. Cutscenes, for some reason, do that. Remember to carve your own path. Yeah, nothing will stand in my way. I always think purple and green are a good combo. Don't know about you, but always seems so to me. It's nice Halloween colours, I guess. It is. I can never see when I've been swapped, really, until I really look. Until you know. Well, it's because the microphone's exactly in front of where my character thing sits on the screen. <laughs> right then, should we go in here and find out what's next? Because yeah. we know this is going to be our place. There they are! Lisa and I will take the monsters on this side. You handle the rest. Don't bite off more than you can chew. We'll be fine. Please, just take care of the rest. Incredible! I'm going in! Affirmative. I've got your back. We can handle this. Hang in there. Let's show them what we're made of. Giblets. Giblets? <laughs> all right. Time for some Tear time. it all out or something. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, they had swapped me around again. Sorry, it was a bit confusing. Right, what have we got? We can fire. Oh. I quite like her one. It's simple. All the damage comes at the end. Did that just do 99,000 damage to one of them? I didn't see. Okay, I think that's pretty much ended our battle, by the way. Oh, we've got this big one that's still getting annoying. To be honest, the worst problem with bats is just hitting them. Yes. Well, it's down. Wings rats. How is it still alive? Oh, no, wait, that's pigeons. <laughs> that is pigeons. We all <laughs> earned this victory. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Poor hair eyelashes. Mission accomplished. Those monsters won't cause any trouble for a while now. Excellent work. And thanks. You might be a bit of a ditz, but I'm sure glad you're on my side. I underestimated you. Thank you. You were amazing back there. So, do you two like each other or hate each other or what? You know, I'm not really sure myself anymore. <laughs> Politically, we have some things to work out. But personally, I guess she's not so bad. Yeah, if you and I can be friends, then someday everyone can. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Farewell, Ms. Muse. Bye-bye. Having a common enemy brought those two closer together. 
It's like a year ago, all over again, when Gaius and Jude's group was fighting for the same goal. Of course, I was deceiving all of them, so I can't really say that I fought beside them. <laughs> this just gave me a great idea. I was slightly wondering what that was all about, to be honest, that story mission. It seemed a bit... Aren't dragons wonderful? They're such big targets that they're hard to miss. Why are you saying that after saying that? But now I see that Muse is going to be evil villain. Let's find some kind of bad thing to fight with. I don't know. It seems to be along those lines. So let's head to the job board before we head on finally. Because it seems we've got... No more story missions, despite what the fact the world nice was covered in them. I could spend all I don't care about the Braze layer. Let's report all these missions that we've done in between episodes. And probably see about a billion more appear. We got some silver dice there. Done and done. Show all the billion more appear? No. We're stuck with the... Oh, no, wait a second. Leave. Yeah. Enter. Yes. Quests. Uh -huh. So you can always get them to reappear, as Beck has told me many, many a time, and I was like, no. Didn't believe me. No. Two pants. Indeed. Sorry, I apologize profusely. Will we reach our next job level? Ah, ah. Yes. So we get ourselves the gold badge without much of an issue there. Dreams of wood. Was that? I don't know. But there, ton more kill quests to be done. Gold badge now can hand in certain other things like Bullet Fury here. The Talion Biss hassle can be completed as well. Got ourselves a ton of things to do once more. So we also need to send some of our cats to Fezabel Marsh. Are they currently still on the way back? They are from Laronde. So with that done and a gold badge earned, as well as a story mission done from Muse, we check the world map to find... No more quests to take. Yep, what a load of poo pants. So it's story mission time, Becca. Yep. In fact, we have to go straight to the apartment. Oh yeah, we could check our mail, I suppose. We could check our mail. Well, we don't actually have any mail at the moment. We could give a load of money to Nova. We could do that as well, yes. Right then, let me give him some money. Hello, hello. We have 800,000. Shall I just keep it even still? Yep. 500,000 gone. Great. Okay, we've got ourselves new mail in the mailbox. So what do we get? Skill to mental strength for release, psych free skill, catnip again, friendship potion, more of the love drug, no jacket for Leia. Okay, she needs to wear some clothes, but still, let's head ourselves up to the apartment. Third floor. So after waiting all this time, we finally get to see what the contents of this letter are. Is? Is, are, uh, one of them. The correct one would be better. Okay. But well, still, let's read it indeed. <laughs> Luger, my brother. Bakur now holds the key of Kresnik, and with L in the palm of his hands, we unfortunately only have one option left. A powerful member of our family must give his life to unfold the bridge to Canaan and pave the way for another. That, I'm afraid, is the final trial that we face in front of us. A sacrifice to build the Soul Bridge. I'm waiting at Riza Harbor in Marksburg. Come find me when you've steeled yourself, when you know what you must do. Hey. If you don't mind, can you tell us the contents of his letter? Maybe El had already figured out that a human sacrifice was the only ticket into the land of Canaan. There's a secret to entering Canaan. And I possess it. 
The life of a Kresnik, correct? She must have concluded that you'd be the one sacrificed to build the bridge. Before we proceed further, there is something I must know. Do you believe you are capable of sacrificing your own brother in order to reach the land of Canaan? Gaius? I have no choice, or of course not. Well, he dies either way. We all die, or just he dies. It's... And he's been really condescending the whole game. It's the fate of the world, really, isn't it? Sometimes sacrifices are made for a greater good, despite the fact that it may be evil at the time. I'm just going to have to say we have no choice. Very well. Then let us go too. Surprise! Guess who's not here to bug you about your silly payments? We need to celebrate your newfound freedom from crushing debt! Uh-oh. You guys look even more depressed than usual. Um, Nova... Sorry, but I'm afraid we'll be gone for a while. Oh, I see. Well, I guess we can put this party on hold, but not for too long. I mean, isn't Julius back too? I bought tomatoes for him and everything. <laughs> Luger? What? What did I say this time? Damn it. More about what's gonna take place. Well, we could kill her too, and then she won't be sad. I I guess that works somehow, some way, in someone's brain. Uh, we got ourselves roasted chicken in the meantime, no, no. so never a bad thing to pick up from Leron there. So we've got to send our cats off to a different location, one for our job gathering yet again. Man, this uh, game really does come down quite hard on Nova, doesn't it? Because she's smitten with Julius. Um, and all she does is she's a, got a horrible job where she's a debt collector. And she's insufferable, and has terrible hair. Nothing has gone right for that woman. No, but we're gonna have to end the episode early, guys, because we know some big events happening. The episode will run really long otherwise. So, we ask you to tune in next time for Tales of Exilia 2, while we get some more jobs on the way. And we'll find out exactly what happens in the fight between brother and brother. Obviously, to save the world, we kind of have to make the sacrifice. But... I doubt Julius will just accept that completely. Um, it's, it's not the Tell's way to just lie down. True. So, battle versus brother and brother. See you then. Bye bye.